Hey everyone, so today's video was supposed to be a speed paint of this, but I'm not anywhere close to being done it, so that will be my next video. Instead, you're gonna get a speed paint of some other art I did this week, which is based off of this artwork that I did last week, which is the Queen of Diamonds, and yes, her diamonds are black, not red. That was a purposeful choice. And so I decided to draw the Queen of Diamonds and then her cat. And so today's speed paint is gonna be the drawing of her cat. So the Queen of Diamonds drawing was just done casually during an Adobe stream. I didn't feel like recording anything that day because drawing is different when there's a camera there and there still is a camera because I'm live streaming, but I guess it's different when it's live. It's just different than when you're recording it for a video. And I wanted to be able to just take lots of pauses to read the chat and not have to feel pressured to keep going without pausing because those pauses really screw up the editing. It, I have to try to cut them out and then I end up missing a bunch and it's just, you know, it can make the video messy. So I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna film this. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, work on some art on the stream and not have to worry about filming it for YouTube. So that's how that Queen of Diamonds drawing was born. And it was based off of Sherry Blossom, the fantastic drag queen and her triangle shaped eye look. And so that was incorporated into this, into that drawing. And then I finished that during the live stream and I wanted to make a little accessory drawing and so I decided to draw this little cat and I just got the sketch done the basic sketch <laughs> well maybe it was just yeah about half the sketch was done in that live stream and then the stream is over but then this week this past Sunday I finished up this drawing and colored it in and I used the same color scheme as the original which was the warm gray the soft peachy pinks and the gold paint which by the way is the fine tech paint and I really like this type of limited color palette because one they're colors I really like and two limited color palettes just always look good even for things like the food I didn't want to cave and use brown for the cat food so I just mixed pink and gray to keep it ultra limited the Queen of Diamonds had a big gold diamond in her background, so I wanted to incorporate the same thing into the cat, but I thought, why not make it cat-shaped? So, it's cat-shaped. <laughs> Even the crown, I tried to make it look a little bit cat-shaped, so as you can see, the little spike in the middle of the crown is not as tall as the outer two spikes, and that is so that it looks a little bit more like a cat silhouette. And then to tie in the Queen of Diamonds thing, I made the collar have diamonds along it with a diamond pendant hanging from it, but that's really the only connection to the Queen of Diamonds, and I guess the, the little diamonds on the crown. It was mostly about making the colors match and making it slightly tie in to hint that this is her cat. And that's why it has a little smug expression on its face <laughs> because it's this prissy rich cat who feels like he's above all the other cats. At least that was my thought behind it. And I surrounded him with little objects that he likes, like some treats and a little mousy toy, his food bowl, ball of yarn, a fish bone, and yeah. And then I'm using the fine text to color in the background. And these needed two coats because I didn't quite get it opaque enough. And when you look at it like this, it looks all right. But when you actually tilt it up so that you're not seeing the gold being reflected, you can see how patchy the paint actually looks. So I did do two coats. It's still not perfect, but looks much better than just the one coat. But oh, those those fine tech paints are gorgeous and lovely, and I highly recommend them. I think I paid about $30 for that set, like around $30 Canadian. It might have been $40, I don't really remember. I got it at an art store, not online, so it's typically a little more expensive if you go to a physical store to buy it. But they're not crazy expensive or anything like that and they're super nice and they give your art such nice shiny touches. One of the problems with using gold is when you try to scan your artwork it just doesn't look as good as it does in real life. Even if you take a picture you have to try to get just the right angle but then the gold isn't shimmering everywhere so it's better to have a video where you can kind of twist and turn the painting to really show off the gold but prints don't work out as well. That being said, I am putting this up in my art shop as a print, so that will be there. Um, I still have not gotten up the print of that succulent painting, and honestly, I don't know if I will at this point. I know I said in the video I was going to, but like, I just, no promises. Maybe someday I'll eventually get around to that, but that's just not a priority for me right now. And it's gonna involve taking like the perfect photograph of it, and I just, I can't be bothered right now. <laughs> Scanning is so much easier, so 
and I, it's not something I can scan in pieces because it's too wide both ways and the way it would lift would cause warping and shadows and stuff like it would be a real pain in the butt because there's a lip on the edge of scanners and so uh, yeah I want to go into the whole thing but <laughs> this one this one I'm putting up in the shop so if you want a print or like a pillow or what have you that will be up in the shop and like I said before, my next video is going to be that painting. Well, it's watercolor plus some colored pencil plus a little bit of Copic probably. That will be my next video uploaded sometime before next Friday. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.